I feel confident that the uh, the gerrymandering was so egregious that they will indeed that the judges will find that they clearly violated the New York State Constitution, uh, which called for independent redistricting. Uh, and then that will, um, you know, that will reset everything, essentially. The state's legislature, which is controlled by Democrats, approved the new maps earlier this month. They were drawn in such a way that out of the 26 congressional districts, New York will be divided into 2023. Democrats will be majority of registered voters in 22 of them. If the maps are denied during Thursday's hearing, they will go back to the state legislature, which will be able to redraw the maps. Perello hopes the Democrats will come back with a fairer presentation. If denied again, a judge, along with experts, will redraw the map, similar to what happened just a decade ago. The people of New York spoke in 2014 and said that they wanted to take as much of the politics out as possible uh, with the constitutional amendment that passed. And then they spoke again just this past November when they rejected the the, the propositions that were on the ballot uh, to try to essentially give the Democrats the ability uh, to uh, legitimize and legalize gerrymandering and and, uh, Uh, tampering with our our elections. Senator Borrello continues that the independent redistricting process was meant to be fair and bipartisan, but when Democrats took control, they set out to rig the process. He also says that left-leaning groups such as the League of Women Voters and Common Cause agree that the potential new map could be considered as gerrymandering. It it undermines people's faith in the system, uh, their confidence that uh, that their representatives are truly, you know, people that that should be representing them, that they want. Um, it undermines people's confidence in elections, quite frankly. They, they you know, they, right now, uh, New Yorkers and, and Americans in general lack confidence uh, that our elections are fair. Julia Gress, WNY News Now.